We are gonna be buying every single fish from the fish store. I'm talking every fish in every tank. We're buying them, all of them. But is it gonna be for this pond, for this pond, for this pond? We don't know. You guys are just gonna have to wait and see to find out. Let's jump into it and buy every fish. All right, we just pulled into store number one. Hopefully they got fish here. We are gonna buy every single fish from this store. All right, they didn't have a single fish in there guys not a single fish in their tanks they probably had like five fish total okay if we're gonna be doing a buying all the fish from the store we gotta get a lot of fish so i had to say i had to call it i had to call it we we're gonna go to a different store and hopefully they have fish and we can buy them all because buying five fish is not acceptable we gotta buy all the fish and all the fish means a lot of fish not five fish on to store number two click it or take it ladies and gentlemen trust me it's important i also have my Warm melted Starbucks, iced vanilla latte, extra shot of espresso, ready to go. Cheers, on to the next store. Maybe they'll have some fish, or if there's a nationwide fish fish shortage, then we're worried. Don't worry guys, I'm on hold with the pet store, making sure they have fish. There's the fish store, and I spilled coffee on my shirt. So right off rip, Chris is having a good day. Coffee spilled on the white slash beige-ish t-shirt and no fish at this fish store. I'm concerned. Hopefully this next store will have fish if they can answer the phone. I repeat, the second store does not have fish. That is a confirmed. I'm on the, I'm on the phone with a third store on hold with them. So store number three, cross your fingers that they have fish and it's not a, uh, a stain like this shirt. Okay, can confirm store number three. We have struck gold. It's a very rare commodity around here right now. We have found fish. The fish shortage has officially been overturned. I am, oh, I dropped my mic. I am on my way to pick up every fish from the fish store. I literally called her on the phone. I said, do not sell any more fish. And while you're at it, I'm driving there. I'll be there in five minutes. Why don't you start bagging every fish for me? That's what I told her. So let's see what we can, uh, I don't even know what they have. I said, bag every fish. So it's a mystery to you, it's a mystery to me. Let's find out what we're getting today. Once I go to the store, pick up our fish. All right guys, the store I thought had fish did not have enough fish. When I called, they're like, we can't sell you, we can only sell you half of these fish because you can't buy them all. And I was like, okay, well then I'm gonna go to a different store. And I went to a different store, store number four, and we have fish, here's the bags right there. There's definitely more bags, that's just the, fir the first two bags. There's more bags, we got lots of bags of fish, we got tons of fish to unbox, and I am fired up. We finally bought the fish but the nationwide shortage man I, I thought there would be more more bags but you know i don't know what's going on with america whoever's breeding the fish is running low so let's get home and unbox these guys and there's a lot of fish in this one bag so let's hurry up get home so we can put them in the ponds all right we finally made it home they've been in the car for a while because i've been driving around town i had to drive pretty far to get these fish because was apparently the only fish where they had fish so i'm gonna get these guys actually in buckets because they've been in the bag for a while and i think uh, I see some goners. I think they're uh, losing O2, so we gotta get them in a bucket and get them with maybe probably like an aerator to get them feeling good, you know? So let's get these fish right here. Let's get them in the bucket. All right, we have our buckets here. I put them all in buckets because, you know, the bags, they were, uh, I was driving around. I had to go pretty far to go to the fish store. So they were uh, slowly losing some oxygen here. And uh, now they're all good because I put some air on them, got them in buckets, a lot more uh, oxygen in these buckets. So we're gonna go one by one. I'm gonna show you guys what I got for my pond today. Now for bucket number one, store number four. Keep in mind guys, four stores I went to and uh, the fourth one finally had fish. So store number four, bucket number one. I'm gonna tell you guys why I'm kind of pumped that I got these guys and how many there are and what they are. So here we go. We got 100 to 120, I think they said, big nice feeder goldfish here for the first bucket. Now these guys are gonna be great because you guys know I have that freshwater pond in the back and I've had it for a while. I've been letting it sit for a while. I originally had the gar in there and some other things in there. And now it's gonna be great to add these guys because goldfish actually love to eat algae, baby. And because that pond is in the sun and we're in Florida and it is record heat, I'm talking record heat. These guys should do really, really well when it comes to eating food, eating algae in this pond and kind of making it a little bit uh, less green. The water is crystal clear keep in mind, but I do have some string algae on the bottom of the pond and along the log. So maybe these guys will go around and pick some of that algae off and it'll be a really, really big help. I think I need to order about 2000 more of these guys to help with that algae because that is one big pond. But let's go ahead and put these guys in. There is a couple DOAs, you know, dead on arrival. I'm sure right when they scooped them out of their tank, a couple of them were already dead. But the ride here, because goldfish at the aquariums, usually there is some dead ones in the tank. But the ride here,
here. It was kind of like a 45 minute ride with the goldfish. So hopefully the rest will live. We got about, I would say 10 to 15 DOAs, but that's all right. We got 85 that we're about to save and put in a giant pond. I am stoked, baby. Let's get our goldfish. Look at these guys. Let's get our goldfish in the pond, baby. These guys are stoked. Okay, now here's the question. I'm gonna need a comment down below for you to name all 85 of these goldfish. So, need a list one through 85. I'm telling you guys, I'm putting you guys for homework. That's your guys' homework. 85 names for each one of these damn goldfish. Let's try to build a giant goldfish army here and put them in the pond, but I'm gonna show you the pond right now and tell you guys and show you guys why I think these guys are gonna be great. So you guys can see the water is crystal clear. It's just this algae on the bottom, this little string algae along the bottom like that. But other than that, the water is clear. Like I'm talking crystal clear, very, very nice water. But when you look up goldfish, do goldfish like to eat algae? They love to eat algae. So it's gonna be really great to put them in the pond Let's do it. So we got our goldfish. I'm about to release the beasts in this pond. Now you guys are probably asking a lot of questions. Where's all the fish in the pond? All the minnows are thriving in here. They're doing fantastic. They're all little tiny guys and they all like to chill inside the algae. So you, you'll probably see them with uh, the footage I'm gonna show. The gar is still in here. We have to find him. He's the ultimate stealth machine. I just saw him at the top of the water when I walked over, I scared him. He's in the corner right there. He's a log, he's hiding in the algae. Everything likes to hide inside the algae. Can you guys see him? The gar is right there. As far as the snapping turtle goes, right after that video, it gave it a couple weeks. He was gonna be an absolute menace to society in here. So I had to give him to my friend, like I mentioned when I first got him. So we just have fish in this pond. So there's a couple DOAs, but the, the gar will absolutely love to eat it. And the pond is super filled because it's been raining every single day. I've been draining this pond every single day. The rain keeps coming. Okay, so let's unleash the beasts. Our goldfish do work in here, boys. Let's eat some algae because we got algae swimming around all over the place. Here we go. We got a lot of DOAs. I'm a little worried, but here they go. Let's go, baby. Goldfish army. Here we go. Let's go. Let's go. All the really, really deep orange ones are survivors, which is huge. That's epic. That's epic. We got all the orange ones in there, but sadly we have like this guy is a DOA. I held him in the camera in the beginning of the video. This guy is so cool. So pretty. But he's a DOA, but the gar's gonna eat him. So look at all of them in the bottom of the pond. That's what we want them doing. We want them eating the algae down there, having a good old time and repopulating. I want to see a million goldfish in here and I want to get them absolute giant. Now, like I said down below in the comments, if we have 85 goldfish, I want 85 names down in the comments. Drop them down. Every single person that comments is gonna be named naming a goldfish. Now we're getting into bucket number two, store number four. I just gotta keep reminding you guys, store number four. I'm uh, keeping this shirt on, by the way. I'm, I'm you know, representing. I spilled coffee in my shirt today. I need to, to own up to it. I need to wear this shirt for the rest of the day. So I will have a uh, coffee stained Chris for the rest of the day. That is, is very nice, very nice. I love getting a new shirt and then spilling coffee on it. Yes. Anyone else do, do that? Is anyone else the guy that spills coffee on their shirt, gets mustard on their shirt, uh, goes to dinner is, and is the first one to knock over the glass of water? Yeah, that's me. That is me. Shout out to all you guys. We are uh, a very tight knit group. The people that spill everything, that's us, baby. So bucket number two, store number four, we got the biggest mollies I have ever seen. These black mollies are absolutely giant. The guy said at the store, they'll get up to six inches. That's insane. I've never seen one this big in my life. These guys are absolute hogs, and they're also gonna be a great addition to the pond because we already have smaller mollies actually in the freshwater pond, but now we're getting behemoths. Now, hopefully these guys can populate because I th I'm thinking I'm gonna be adding some predators to the pond uh, pretty soon. I'm gonna try to catch some for the pond very soon. So hopefully these guys can populate and get nice and thick. Well, they're already thick, but let's get them thicker. And I think they're gonna look fantastic in the pond. So let's go ahead and get these guys in our pond. All right, our mollies are going in. I'm gonna try to grab them all, but they are so whiz town. I'm talking like, this is Chris, Brooke, and Jack. We have three mollies in here. Chris, Brooke, and Jack are the mollies because they're absolute speed demons. And me and Brooke and Jack are fast. I'm telling you, we could beat Usain Bolt in a race. Let's just get one in at a time. Let's try this guy first. Let's see if he wants to chill in my hand for a second. I'm gonna let go. Hold on, buddy. Here he goes. Let's go, that's sick. That's sick. So th those are pretty freaking hossy. He, he stands out like a sore thumb. That's a hoss of a fish compared to the goldfish. And I like the jet black because you can really, really see him really well. So let's get the other one in. I think we're gonna do it like that, but all the, every time. Just release him like that, it's fun, it's fun. So just zoom in on this and watch these guys just slither away, ready? See ya, buddy, let's go, that's sick. Go find your friend in your giant pond, your giant home now. So these are tiny fish, but are getting a giant home. So this is their mansion. And here's the last one, which is, they're so cool. I wish I could show you guys them up close, but they do not like being on their sides. They like stand straight up, so 
Can't really see them well. So let's get our last one in the pond. Let's go, baby. Three jet black giant jumbo mollies for the pond. And they all found each other. They're all chilling with each other. We got them in here. Now let's do our next bucket. Bucket number three, baby. Let's do it. Bucket number three, store number four. Gotta keep reminding you guys because I drove a lot today. Bucket number three is this epic Comet Goldfish, I believe. This guy's pretty freaking cool. I, I got him because he was the only fish, the only big fish in a separate tank all by himself. So keep in mind, all these fish that I got, this is the only thing the fish store had. I got absolutely every single fish from the fish tanks. And just like I said in the beginning of the video, major fish shortage out here in Florida. I don't know what's going on. All the stores didn't get their shipments, but at least we got some cool fish uh, for what they had. They had a bunch of goldfish, they had some cool mollies, and they had, they had this dope giant comet goldfish, which is really, really cool. But that's all they had. If they had more, I would have bought it. I told you guys. I walked into this store, I said, I'll take every single fish that you have in all your tanks. And this is what they had. So they didn't even have ghost shrimp. They had nothing. They said they hadn't gotten a shipment in weeks. I'm not sure what's happening. Probably because of all that rain that's been driving everyone crazy. So let's get this guy in the pond. Now let's get our big boy in here. This is, I think, the biggest fish of the day. Biggest fish of the day, the Comet Goldfish. I never had one before, I don't think. So let's go ahead and get this guy in. He's super chill. Whenever I pick him up, he totally just allows me to pick him up. Look at that. He's vibing. So I'm going to put him in just like I did the mollies. Let's see where this guy goes. Oh, oh, oh. Swim off. Let's go. I think we need a name for him because he's the biggest one. So he deserves a name. So you guys can see that big boy swimming around with all the other goldfish. The goldfish actually look really dope in here. I'm actually surprised. I actually enjoy the goldfish. I never liked goldfish, but they actually look cool in here. Bright orange swimming around here. Hopefully they populate and actually eat some algae so the water even looks, so the water actually looks a lot better because the, uh, the green algae is killing my vibe. But at least we have fish in here and I think the next time we do get fish, we have to get some big boys. We have to get some monsters. But the bigger goldfish does look cool swimming around in here. Cannot wait to add more fish. I definitely want to get bigger ones the next time we do it. We'll drop comments down below what you think we should get next and i will see you guys in that next one peace